lot of the things that I was planning on saying sounded a lot better in my head, but I have no idea what I'm saying now. So anyway, I'm going to make a video. This is a video on how to get Need for Speed 2 SE to work on basically a modern PC. And I'm doing this because someone commented on one of my videos about how to get this to work, despite the fact that there are like several other ways of doing it. And I think other people have posted their own way of getting the game to work. But I guess I'll go ahead and make show my method of getting the game to work. And one thing to note is that my method will require the game's disc. And if you don't have the disc, what you basically can do is that you can just order the game online on like Amazon or eBay or something for like $5. It's not that expensive. And I mean, you're welcome to try to find somehow like download the files online for the game if you want. But, you know, I would prefer to just get the disc because it's easier to work with and I've actually done it before without the disc, and I've downloaded it before, but it stopped working eventually, and the music didn't work anyway, and trust me, you want to use the disc, because I would say that the game's soundtrack is definitely so worth half the So, here's the disc. Let me just put it in the disc drive, and we'll get... Oh. Oh. Would you look at that? You don't need this game, even though it's the same game. Don't, don't mind this. All right, let's let's just go. Okay, so now that that's done, here is where we start. So first off, this isn't even my own method of doing it. I actually just took the information on how to do this from this freaking website right here. This webpage is literally all you need to know how to get this game to work. You technically don't even need to watch this video. Just watch. Just go through this. I'll put the link in the description of this video to this website and you can just follow these instructions honestly but for the sake of getting to showing how exactly it works I will do it so to start off with the website says to just get the game files from the directory of the disk so we'll start off by going into my computer <clears throat> so go on my this PC and Right here, we look at BD-ROM. And what we need to do is... Oh, I did not mean... So what we need to do is open it. Open... So now we have all these uh, programs over here, right? So basically what we need to do is... What the game... What the website is instructing is... We only need to have the FE data and game data folders from the CD-ROM into the into this new folder that we're going to create. So let's go ahead and create this folder, and we'll just call it Need for Speed 2 SE. So we'll copy um, these two folders. and we'll put them inside this folder. Now while that's happening, let's get the other files that we need. So, which will be all these 16 files right here. But we and but we don't need any of these things, right? So, we'll copy these. and also paste them into here. Now we'll just probably wait for all of that to start going in and eventually we'll have our full NFS2 SE folder right here. Now while my disk drive goes crazy pasting everything into this folder, we will now move on to the next thing which is patching. On the website you will have a link and it'll just say pre-made compatibility patch available here. So you just click on it and you will have to use some kind of file to extract um, zipped files. So I'm using Windows 10 by the way so what I use is 9-zip to open all these patches. So I'll just click on extract all and put them in a separate folder on my desktop. So 
So then we open these patches and then we just click on patch install and we have to authorize all the patches. So we say yes to this one, say yes to that one, and that should be fine. If it were not to work, then try using this folder. But for me, this normally fixes, it, it normally works well if, if I use this one. So that's done. The next thing we need to do is now use um, acceleration with end glide. So we go to um, this website right here. When we click on this here link, it downloads the glide wrapper. So just click on this download link right here. And then you open up this setup. Then we click on install and it'll say complete. You can now play your 3DFX glide game. So put that away. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Close out of this tab. Now the next thing to do is now they're starting the game. Start the game by clicking on the NFS2 SEA.exe file within the inventory and the game should run, right? So if you get that, that's pretty much it that you need to get the game to work. The rest is just like a bunch of other issues or options with the end glide configurator and then troubleshooting known issues. So that's all fun and everything. That's pretty much it. But we're not done yet because we still need to wait for these to, uh, these files to go all into this folder. So I can't really do anything until we'll just have to wait for this to finish. So I'll just skip this it's done so now we go back to this folder right here and we have everything we need see we have everything now we should be able to run the game now so we click on this okay well you click on this icon and it'll start but the thing is we're not exactly ready to run the game yet because there's just this weird little trick over here you see this install.nfs file we have to change it so we have to rename it to dot win which will make it if you use the file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you wish to change it don't worry about it just do that now we'll click on this it launches the 3dfx logo and Alright, so I just muted the game's volume and everything just so I can, you, you could probably hear my voice so I can describe what's going on here. So this is basically it. This is how you get the entire game to run. Now, this is, this will create a fresh new file as if it's the first time you've ever played the game. Like, as you can see, I don't have any of the bonus cars or bonus tracks in the game and here I just like show a little demo of what the game looks like when I play it the if on your computer if you actually get this to work it'll probably look a lot better than it does in this video the frame rate does run at a full 60 frames per second but the problem is my computer is really weak and I can I had to record this on a on a low frame rate so that the video would actually not like crash while recording or with nor would the PC would so that's pretty much all there is to the game as you can see the game is working just fine and I do a little other things to uh, get the game to do certain things like pushing the F4 key to toggle the horizon on and off the F2 key to toggle the car detail um, the F10 key toggles the brightness, and the F3 will toggle how um, much the track in front of you will render. Like, as you can see right now, it does, like, nothing. Like, you can see the track, like, being rendered as I'm driving in it, because it's set to close. So, that's what the game will look like. This is um, what the game will look like on 3DFX. You can't get, with this method, you will not be able to run the game without the 3D effects. So basically that means you won't be able to have the cockpit view of the car when you're playing this game, sadly. Because, I mean, this is the best I can get for this game to work. 
which I'm okay with, and hopefully anyone else looking to just play the game in general would be okay with this too. Um, the reason why this is um, specifically difficult to run with a um, to run without to run the full game like without the 3D effects or anything without all these modifications it's because this game is a 16-bit program and it's incompatible with 64-bit programs and if you couldn't tell if you listen to my other videos with this game you can tell that the sound is extremely disorientated and it's messed up and like I'm sorry like that's really all I can do another thing to mention is that you've noticed that this is all for Windows uh, products so this is not available on Mac or Linux or whatever you have to have some kind of Windows computer for this to work so yeah sorry that's 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 this method is kind of strict as to what it will be able to run on so but hey it runs it's a pretty easy way to get the game to run and works for me should work for anyone else with a a pretty fairly updated Windows computer so that's pretty much all there is to it so also one thing to note is that if you look over here the NFS 2 SEA uh, icon is the way to launch the game that's how you you open this folder and you will click on that so that is how you get the game to run and that is pretty much it all right I think I'm done here